White Mars is the scientific part of the Transantarctic Winter Traverse, which is the first ever winter crossing of Antarctica. And the White Mars component of that traverse is a series of scientific studies, some of which are human-based, um, to learn more about aspects of human performance under extreme conditions. Well, obviously, this is a completely unique challenge. It's the first time it's been done. It's the first time that anyone's attempted to traverse across Antarctica during winter. So this presents a number of quite serious physiological and psychological challenges. Uh, apart from the obvious fact that it's extremely cold, temperatures down to minus 70 degrees. It's also at high altitude, around 3,200 meters, so the conditions are slightly hypoxic and also it has altered day-night cycles, so it's going to be dark for most of the time. So these kind of challenges are the things that we'd be looking to, uh, to induce in an analog or a, a mimicking of a trip to Mars, where, again, you'll be facing really extreme challenges. And in similarly, in a tr as with a trip to Mars, what we've got is a situation where there's no chance of evacuation. Once they're there and trekking, that's it. There is no return. So that provides not only obviously a physiological challenge, but a big psychological challenge. So we've had Soren Alfines and his team here, uh, Brian Newham, Rob Lambert, for example, have come in, uh, undertaking a number of different physiological tests. We're interested in uh, performing a screening of them before they go to see how fit they are. We've measured a number of different parameters. We've measured their fitness on an exercise bike, measuring their cardiorespiratory fitness, their VO2 max. We've looked at their muscle strength. Uh, we've performed DEXA scans to look at their body composition. Um, we've measured their balance, a whole series of tests. We've taken a lot of blood samples from them for analysis for immune function, for example. So we're performing quite a broad portfolio of tests to try and characterize them before they set off. A number of tests will be performed in addition to uh, the tests we've made here, but actually on, on the ice itself, testing uh, their sensory systems, a lot of psychological profiling, a lot of blood samples will be taken actually during the test itself. A number of those measures we will also repeat here. We'll undertake the same measurements we've, as we've undertaken before they set off in our laboratory here to see the kind of changes that have occurred at least following the recovery um, and their long trip home. This White Mars project is, is a great opportunity for us to learn more about the human body. These opportunities come around very rarely to learn uh, about how the body and mind responds and adapts to such extreme uh, challenging circumstances. So it's a really a great opportunity to learn a lot of things.